Greetings. This is a volcano an earthquake watch for October 26 through to October 30. Strong solar activities over the last 72 hours have produced a series of M-class and an impulsive X-class solar flare. We also have two opposing polarities of coronal hole formations on the solar corona which will be rotating into geoeffective positions and also we have a very powerful alignment involving Earth, Sun and Saturn all represent a potential of a 7.2 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info or the Solar Trestle Activity Report of two strong coronal hole formations on the Sun, both with opposing polarities and both currently unnumbered regions. The coronal hole formation in the Northern Hemisphere is a positive polarity and covering a much larger region than the coronal hole formation in the Southern Hemisphere, which is a negative polarity. Now both of these may be a reflection of each other of one large earthquake reflected on both hemispheres of the Sun, but we'll plot and map both of these regions as I feel there may be a very powerful earthquake embedded in one of these coronal hole formations for this watch. We're now looking at this large coronal hole formation in the Northern Hemisphere a little bit more closely with the 211 angstrom with Solar Monitor. Now this strong coronal hole formation may become geo-effective October 27 into October 28. Now using the 193 angstrom with Solar Monitor, now with further analysis I have isolated a region from 24 to 29 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus in terms of energetic components from this coronal hole formation. I'll now plot and map some regions I feel will be most at risk for this potential 7.2 magnitude earthquake for this watch. With solar symmetry best mapped to the Earth, my number one area of concern is for Japan, specifically the regions of Kyushu, Japan, or adjacent near the south coast of Honshu, Japan. Now this is mainly due to a strong earthquake that occurred yesterday in the Izu Islands. This was a very deep earthquake, which should send a strong migration of energy westward into the region. This may also trigger an increase in activity in volcanoes in the region, specifically the Sakurajima. My second area of concern moves into Asia, specifically the regions of Sichuan, China, Yunnan, China, and adjacent to the region in Myanmar. And my final area of concern for a possible 7.2 magnitude earthquake are for the regions of southeastern Iran or adjacent in Pakistan. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE, and there's not much to report on this service, with solar wind speeds flatlining at 350 kilometres a second, and will continue to fall over the next 24 to 36 hours. And this is due to a lack of coronal hole formations and earthbound coronal mass ejections, but this will change on October 26 through October 28, due to high-speed solar wind streams coming from both coronal hole formations on the solar corona. We should see solar wind speeds moving upwards slightly to 400 kilometres a second on both of these days. Now focusing on the southern hemisphere of the solar corona where we see two strong features as well as a very large active region which may produce strong flares for this week. The large feature is a magnetic filament which may produce a strong coronal mass ejection if it lifts off the sun so it's definitely worth keeping a close note of and also this coronal hole formation which I have isolated from 31 to 35 degrees south latitude and may produce a very strong earthquake for this watch. I'm now going to plot and map this coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere to the earth and my number one area of concern with solar symmetry is for South America, specifically the regions of Valparaiso in Chile, or to its east in San Juan, Argentina. These would be the main areas of concern for a possible 6.5 magnitude earthquake for this watch. And my final area of concern is for a region just north of New Zealand, specifically the Comatic Islands. A long duration C3 flare from active region 11593 was reported yesterday. Associated with this blast was a coronal mass ejection as seen from the stereo ahead satellite at approximately 10.24 UTC. Now this is a very slow moving coronal mass ejection and a very weak one, but this may impact the Earth's magnetic field or deliver a glancing blow early on October 27, or at least send a rise in solar wind density. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index, where we see two strong spikes have been registered on this service over the last four hours. This is a good indication of another strong earthquake potential headed our way. Now both of these readings occurred after the 6.5 magnitude earthquake that occurred in Costa Rica earlier today. So it's a good indication of a 6.5 to 7.2 magnitude earthquake is not too far away, possibly over a time frame of 1 to 3 days. The island of Hawaii may experience an increase in earthquake activity due to strong ionospheric readings registered over the last few days. Now these readings are a strong indication of possibly volcanic activation or further activity for Mount Kilauea, or earthquake potentials possibly rising up towards 4.6 magnitude, which is well above average for the region. 
As mentioned at the start of the video, a very powerful planetary alignment occurs during this watch period between Earth, Sun and Saturn. For anyone interested, I will leave a link in the description box and as a video response to a video created regarding the celestial influences of these alignments. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 24th of October 2012. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.